Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. My name is Minnie from The Minimalist Maker and today I'm sharing a furniture makeover. I bought this bookcase for 45 euros and it was in pretty bad shape. The shelves were melamine and they were really thin. And it also had some cracks and missing trim. I started with the missing trim pieces first. I used a pine trim that was the right size, but I needed to just round the corners just a bit. I attached the trim to the bookcase with some glue and nails. I trimmed the excess with my Japanese saw. The corners I cut at an angle and I used a file and some sandpaper to finish the rounded corner. I used some wood filler to fill the cracks in the wood. I didn't want to fill all of the small dents and holes, but just the biggest ones so that the end result would look a bit smoother. I didn't want to lose all the character, because that's what I like about old pieces. They have a history, an old life, and I think that's the most important part of them. There was one open glue seam at the top corner, so I put some glue in it and pulled it together. And because there wasn't a lot of glue surface, I glued this block to the back side of the seam and added some nails, hoping that this would help keep the seam together. The shelves were all different distances from each other. I wanted to change that, so I moved some of the brackets. These brackets were glued and screwed in place, but luckily I was able to remove the ones that I needed to. I measured and marked the new placements of the brackets. I sanded all the filled areas and everywhere else I needed to. Then I reattached the brackets. I used glue and some new screws. I started making some new shelves for the bookcase. I decided to use 18mm MDF with some solid wood edge banding. I removed the rounded edge from the wood strip first. I left the edge banding oversized and glued it in place first. I used some tape as clamps. I actually found that the easiest way to remove the sticky tape from the MDF was using a wood planer. I also used it to smooth the edges of the edge banding. After the edge banding was in place, I cut the shelves to size. I used the track saw to trim the length and the table saw to trim them to the right depth. Time to test fit the shelves. They are much stronger than the older ones. Before painting I needed to get all the dust out of the surface. 
I have found that the easiest way to do that is to use a dry rag first and then a damp one. I decided to paint the inside white and bright. The inside was this really weird orange wood grain pattern and I knew I needed to add at least three coats of paint to cover that. So I started with some white primer. On the outside I chose this beautiful beige color. I think the best way to get a really nice smooth hand painted finish is to first use the roller and then come back with a really good paint brush and smooth everything out. For the shelves I used one coat of primer and then two coats of paint. I used these hot glued wooden blocks to lift the shelves of the table surface. The MDF really soaks up the primer, so I sanded the primer really well before the paint. I used the same painting technique on the shelves, first roller and then paintbrush. I also sanded between coats. I did some repair work with the drawer. A wood piece had broken off and somebody had nailed it on the underside of the drawer. I removed it and glued it in its right place. To make it stronger, I added some extra wooden blocks and glue and nailed these together. This bookcase actually used to be a wardrobe. At least that's what I think. It used to have a door but I guess the door got damaged or missing or something and somebody decided to make it into a bookcase. I reattached this metal piece that sort of reminds of this bookcase's earlier history. And here is the finished bookcase. The new color and the new shelves make a huge difference. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I am making new videos, so if you like to stay tuned for that, subscribe 
and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye!